calculate the weighted average, we need to calculate the weight of each row. To do this, we have to divide the completed trips, by the sum of all completed trips. Then we will compute the ratio of completed trips to unique drivers. We have rows with zero drivers. So, we use the if function to ignore these rows. To calculate the weighted average, we will use the sum product function in cell K3. This method might not be so accurate, especially, when there are a lot of zero driver rows. To avoid division by zero, and still use all the data, we will use pivot tables. First, we will create a pivot table with time, as rows. We will use drivers, trips, and weight, as values. Then, we will create a new calculated field. It will calculate, the needed ratio. In cell M3, we will use the sum product function which will give us, a new weighted average. Then, we will create a pivot table using date, as rows. We will use the following fields as columns, drivers, drips, weight, and the ratio field.
Again, we will use the sum product function, which will give one more weighted average. The decision, of which one to use, will come after evaluating our data. Seven hundred thousand users since 2003. Be the next one. Try our demo at www.testforyou.eu.